Stun the burritos. Right. Give me a knife. Here we are. Nope, already got it. Thank you, though. The long-awaited, much-anticipated unboxing of the Memorial Tomb. So we have campaign starter, the Underworld. Mm. Let's actually see that cover for a couple seconds. Come on, Shane, learn how to do an unboxing. Nope, nope. People are gonna get dizzy. That's what an overhead view. <laughs> People expect. We got glare. That's nice. How's that? Yeah, it's good. Got it. We got it, Shane. All right. So. Uh, how many pages? All right, so well over 200, close to 250. And this is the underworld, so this is all the not on the surface stuff. Ooh, we have the. Hold on, can you describe what the underworld is again? It's all the stuff that doesn't happen on the surface. To be clear, underground. Well, <laughs> you didn't write this. <laughs> Alright, so and then we have the uh, Prismatic Maze. Now, the Prismatic Maze, you, you've got to kind of assemble part of it because you do stuff and it kind of spins around and screws your players up. And this, a module, the one single module, this is way, winging it to, come on, I get to a page number here. Okay, so uh, probably about 160 some odd pages. <clears throat> ah, now we have the box. This is stuff that wasn't even in the campaign box. Campaign starter, and I believe that is. No, uh, I think it was Elmore Art. Elmore Easley. I don't quite recall which one, but that was a stretch goal, I think. So those E names. Hmm? So those E names. Yeah. Well, it's, what it, it's, it's Elmore Easley. I'm not sure which. I'm sure somebody will correct me when I post this. Probably. And this. Probably one of them, too, right? Huh? Well, I'm not friends with either one of those. <laughs> okay. <but laughs> I'm sure earlier uh, Benoit or someone would be like, this is who it is. Can you make that noise again? Okay. All right, so we have the campaign starter <laughs> game module. And this... Greg, you know you're going to sing at the end of this, right? What, no. Yeah? <laughs> I think we're looking at about 180 pages for this. More the... I don't know. I know what he wants. Caroline. It's on the cover box. Sweet. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> that, Go. That, that was kind of lame. That was, that, lame. Like, that was your, like, your... That, that, was, best that was not my best. Greg is being lame. It's not the All end right. of the video, no, we have the Campaign <laughs> starter appendices. We got to make sure to get uh, so Shane locked like... away on Facebook jail for this video. <laughs> I just got to post something and I'll get locked away. I'm probably not that far from it. It'll be a 30 day this time. Dang. Right, You're so talking about like... Facebook jail. You're going to jail. Here's all the appendix stuff. He didn't post it yet. Now. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, there is one more book. And about 500 maps. So then, like we had the underground, and cover. The silence. <laughs> Are the lamps? No. Hello, the, the game module, the underground expansion. Here we have the wilderness expansion. Oh, so that's not the underground then? <laughs> no. Okay. It's the above ground wilderness. Like woods and, and stuff. Gets thrown in in about another good 180 pages. And it's got, you know, maps, artwork. And now we have, uh, ooh, these are nice. Looks like, I feel like it's one side. It's the one side. It's very glossy. Yeah, right? It's glossy. Rex is going to be mad. It's high, it was very high gloss, very smooth. All right, so Feels good. my old eyes can't look at it. Adjust. I can do it. If I can do it, anybody can. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is That's this the is the prismatic maze. So it's like three sections, and you kind of do some photocopying from the PDF, which is what I would recommend, and then using some glue. And it's children. Stop making all that racket. Oh yeah, we're trying to do an unboxing video here. Yeah, we're trying to be very professional. The uh, professional is gonna quiet spawn. Yeah, yeah, quiet spawn. <laughs> Same with you, other spawn. Let's do it again. Okay, and it looks like there's more prismatic maze maps. And that was, uh, I think. Oh no, see, no, this map isn't quite as. 
It doesn't quite have that uh, four partial four. lamination. Yeah, it's through the laminations of the women. Yes, the there, day. that comes back 30 day. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so here we have. Uh, I'm not showing this because I'm going to be running this eventually. <laughs> so we got okay. the Memorial Tomb of Garn Patul. Environs in Cave System. Hey, That's kind of cool. You guys are going to pull up board games. And then we have. Ah, here we go. These are kind of like the old first edition uh, hex maps. And it's like three or four different hexes. You can kind of move them around to, you know, kind of put a bunch of stuff in there because while a player might pay attention to what's going on in a town, city, or dungeon, you get into the big, huge wilderness, eh, nobody pays attention. Get a lot of mileage out of that. Well, Greg, he might pay attention. Maybe. <laughs> He doesn't even know what you're talking about. The big, huge wilderness hex map. Oh, I thought we were talking about the uh, laminating of the maps. Oh, the laminating of the maps? The laminating the of the women. The laminating of the maps. Gosh, your enemies see them doing it for you. Yeah, the, la the laminating of the women. You've got like a big <laughs> one, and you can take bees and just put a whole bunch of them, and then you got. Oops. Yeah, kind of. Booby, booby. 50 day booby. All right, uh. All right, hold on, I got another for you. Oops. Oh. Hey, there was one in the bathroom. Blue? No, uh, Griffin. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ooh. All right, so we got level one map. And you're still not showing all these maps, right? Hell no. Who are you running this for? I don't know. Ah. Uh, I don't know at a future undetermined time. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so we got the level C map, the first level map. And I remember the uh, PDF map. There was one that seemed like it was kind of missing, but it actually wasn't. Uh, yes, level two, the burial vault. Ooh, that's either treasure or a really nasty trap. Uh, okay, here we go. We have some more hex. Now, Shane, while you're looking at the stuff you can't show us, do you have any idea how lethal this thing is? Well, it's, uh, Ernie Gygax's old Hobby Shop Dungeon campaign. Yeah. Uh, updated by Benoit Poiré. Yeah, I played in the old one quite a bit, so... I played it in a little bit, and... Well, that was how I started. enough, none of the areas that are actually in this section. So here we have okay. some more... So now you got your kind of uh, random, somewhat not quite so random hex maps. And those are ones you can kind of mix and match and come up with a whole bunch of... You know, you come up with a you know good chunk of the countryside. And I believe... Uh, <clears throat> I think this might be like one of these. So these are hexes within the hex. You got the smaller ones, and I think one of those smaller ones might be like rated at a mile. Or I mean, you know, we're gamers. Uh, you can make the size as big or as small as you want. But you know, there are some rivers. That is what she so said. I mean, you don't want to have every river be the Mississippi. Ah, uh, then here we have the Dinsmere. And this is kind of a Dinsmere map with a whole bunch of heraldry. And apparently Rex has some kind of lawful good paladin bearing somewhere. Oh, okay. But he never really mentioned where. Probably under the glossy part that he can't see. I would not be surprised. <laughs> sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, okay, so... Uh, this is like a little side... Quest area, I believe. Might be a village. It's kind of a villagey. Uh, the name of Krom Kenlock. Yeah, kind of. It says Krom. Wait, no. There. There, it says Krom. Ah, the middle of steel. Oh, let's see. What else do we have here? Ah, uh, oh yes, the little stretch goal. Those, those came, uh, the Twin Tankard, which is kind of a tavern. Plenty of adventure to be had there. I remember when he was working on that. Because uh, he used his sliding glass door in, you know, in the kitchen to go out to the backyard as a uh, light box. So was, and he was actually recording, taking video, shooting video of a better quality than what this is of uh, working on the maps. Maybe it doesn't have printed anything. Then we have, ooh, we have the... Tunnels of a certain place I'm not going to mention. Can't even say what it's called? No. Yeah. Because it's firm. Because I'm being right. a dick. Yeah, you are. Uh, okay, so we have the... It's the Tickle Me Elmo Dungeon of Doom. Wrong game. That's uh, America. Oh, yes, yes. 
Well, I mean, it, it would take a little bit of work, but you could drop this in America. <laughs> or drop America, or use America rules. I don't know that I'd do that. Hey, you can have a road warrior pack running around. That'd be kind of fun, actually. That would be fun. All right, uh, we have a, a Roadhog uh, pack, Jay. Come on. Map. Roadhog. 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 Road, roadhouse. Roadhouse. Full house. <laughs> Full house? Don't. Don't. Not with Oliver here. He's going to go off. Full house? He loves that show for some reason. Oh, it's a good show. Uh, he's eight and he's watched it probably ten times. Jesus. All right. So, okay, so here we have the Viscountcy of Poi and Lower Midlands map. Okay. And just I just believe that is somewhere uh, in Greyhawk, though, the exact location I don't quite yeah, remember. And it's sort of like, you know, somewhere <laughs> in Greyhawk, <laughs> you know, very loose. As a lot of modules are. Well, it's very loosely <laughs> termed you and, about? you know, very Jail? adept at copyright Jesus? avoidance. Or copyright uh, <laughs> problem <laughs> avoidance. Oh, and. <laughs> ah, okay, this one's just outdoors. <laughs> and I think you had 18 maps in this all. This is the best one to watch. Jesus videos. Christ. This is, uh, all in the tomb itself. <laughs> oh, and I think this might be a uh, bonus map. Of a far eastern, oh uh, wait, no, well, okay, so far eastern influenced, but also a localized terrain and locations. I'm not going to say anything about this, I'm going to leave this one a surprise because it's kind of cool. Because you're a dick. There has to be some mystery left in the world. Yeah, buy it yourself. <laughs> speaking yeah, of yeah, that, cheap fuckers. Yeah, speaking of that. So Do you know how many Kickstarters came out at this time? So seriously, this is a great product. Right? If you were I know, and I'm, like, I didn't have money for more than see. one. Is uh, the one I was playing uh, at the have... time. <laughs> when was this a Kickstarter? Like two years ago? I was that transition that was ruined by the peanut gallery. <laughs> no. Uh, there will be copies <laughs> for sale once all the Kickstarter orders are fulfilled, and I believe you'd have to go to... Yeah, I'm going to have to get it then. Gagax Pro Productions, Hobby Shop Dungeon, and or you just bug people on Facebook. We all know the same people. I mean, and two of them are bad. We live like 15 minutes from Ernie. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, we, we I, find, I probably ben. should. Ben is somewhere in the like Sasquatch filled wilds of British Columbia. Yeah. I'm assuming because there's like mountains and shit in the background every time I see him doing videos. So I'm assuming there's squatches. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, and thing. then we have the. Uh... Hold on, New Fago. Ooh. Huh? All right. Oh, that was... Unleash your inner juggalo. Please don't. <coughs> Juggalos right. love Fago. And this was another stretch goal, the Hive World of Ur Shema. And I'm going to keep quiet on that one, too, because it's pretty cool and kind of surprising. Oh, and then you had the nice uh, side view of the dungeon. Yep. Yeah. The Memorial Tomb finally arrived at my doorstep today. Yeah, and I've waited specifically for this to get peanut gallery and trolled while I'm doing the unboxing. Yes. Yep. And that is, yeah, we'll probably, yeah, pretty much. We'll probably have to have him explain the underworld again or whatever, but. Yeah, I've already done it like four times. <laughs> Watch it again. <laughs> that way I get more views. And I might, and I might not get uh, like, the Van Hammer. Views, you put it on Facebook like, or yeah. YouTube? Uh, come on, Shane, you can make a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. I oh, just haven't do? done anything with it because everybody who has a YouTube account has a YouTube channel, and like 98% of them don't do anything with it. And I'm well, yeah. All right, so that but there's lots of old grognards that get like 2,000 sub 2, right subscribers that watch <laughs> well, and put out this kind of stuff. They have like multiple so, no, YouTube accounts. Oh, okay, see, there. I rest my case. Right? You're the one. Is there any more? Is that, are you no, putting it all back? Is, okay. That is okay. the unboxing yeah. of the Memorial Tomb. All right, tomb. all right. Now, no, before we get. on YouTube is Greg versus Lee. Yeah. <laughs> before we get to the singing. I re-uploaded it so that How many squirrel nuts out of hanging on fence posts do you give me? That's not mine. I don't care. He's not here. It doesn't matter. I can't. I can't do his rating system. All right, all right. Come up with your so own. From the old Saturday Night Frights, uh, the um, five skull James, rating. Uh, uh, him in the face no, I haven't the, actually the, dug uh, into the, the campaign. First, first impression. Stuff. First impression. This is definitely like four and right three quarters skulls out of five. It's so real close. Saturday right. Night Frights. Where it was me running up to Greg uh, scale of approval. Like, you know we're gonna have, you're gonna have to get like a tripod or something so you can do a real like uh, review <laughs> later on after you dig into it now. Yeah, tripod you might find. <laughs> well, I'm not going to hold this up for a full review. Right, well, no, this is... All right, Greg, sing. Right. Sing. What's this system? Sing, monkey. Work for? What? What systems does this work for? Uh, this is actually first ed, but... Oh. 
Since it's first ed, there are many so OSR systems, uh, most much. especially my favorite, Castle of the Crusades, Sorry. that are an easy translation, no and way. for astonishing swordsmen and sorcerers of Hyperborea, now known as Hyperborea, because uh, it's, it's a lot to say. translation. Yeah. I it's mean, a mouthful. <laughs> seriously, okay, so Twain, uh, he was definitely on the right track doing the rebrand with that, because yeah. it makes it a lot easier and a lot more Everybody called it Hyperborea anyways. Yeah. Except for me, I call it Ash. But, well, yeah, right. but you're weird. All right, sing, monkey. Sing. 24, 24, 24 hours to go. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Oh, I want to be sedated. No, see, no, that was good. That's all you get for